Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In the last clip, we showed how the great majority of all winding defects are totally insensitive to taper. Attention to taper in those cases is distracting at best. In this clip, we lament on more of the nonsense of taper. Mixing units is one of the most fundamental sins an engineer can make. Yet this is exactly what the builders have done when they mix tension with percent taper tension. The units of tension are kilonewtons per meter in the metric system and pounds per inch in the U.S. system. Taper is unit less. However, to put this in more of a layman's perspective, consider a speed limit sign as you enter the city limits from a highway. The sign didn't say slow down 36.3%, it said, quite sensibly, 35 miles per hour. Tension is a fundamental web and winding control parameter. Here we will illustrate the immense complication of answering a simple and useful question. At what tension does my roll finish at? First, we must find out from the builder's instruction manual or the builder himself whether the taper takes place starting at zero diameter or starting at core diameter. Similarly, we need to know if the taper is calculated through the finished diameter of the current roll or the design diameter of the machine. We assume here the most common starting at the zero diameter and tapering to the design diameter of the machine. Then, the calculation is relatively straightforward using the method of equivalent triangles. Given the assumptions above, the answer is 1.28, I think. Alternatively, the operator could use trigonometry if they felt more comfortable with that technique. Because this is an impossible calculation for an operator, they will not be able to translate their learnings from one product to another whose only change is merely finish diameter. The only thing they can try is, well, trial and error. This is also a total pain in the ass for electrical engineers to troubleshoot as well as for any of your favorite QA techniques such as ISO or Six Sigma. There's been a decades-long debate on what the best shape of the taper curve is. Is it constant tension, constant torque, or hyperbolic? All of this without even identifying the problem they were trying to solve. It is absurd to think that one shape is best for all. It is absurd to think that the ideal shape for any particular defect, as yet unspecified, would be so convenient as to be one of those most easily programmed curves. Why not a minus 30 to plus 70 degree portion of a cosine curve? That, in fact, is close to the near optimum shape for a rider roll curve on a two drum winder. Come to my winding class and find out why. Why not a zero to 70 degree portion of a cosine curve? That, in fact, is close to the near optimum shape for a type 1 telescope. Come to my winding class and find out why. How we got to this point of using taper is only of historical and cultural interest. It really has little to do with what the wound roll would really care about. It is simply that before the age of the computer, Taper was the easiest thing for the electrical engineers to do. Now, we know better. In the next clip, I will show a much, much better alternative to taper. In the next clip, I will show a much, much simpler alternative to taper, namely, the two-point method.